Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we've got a unique problem that I'm going to address and see if we can't fix this problem. Uh, I went and took the beauty thing off of the back of my tailgate and I painted it and uh, got a mask off so I didn't paint my skulls and my red reflector. But when I pulled it off, I noticed, and I'll paint it down here so we can see. I noticed that two of these were broke off and two of them's got a bolt broke off inside of them. And they broke off so shallow that I can't get to them. So, rather than go buy these pieces, which I'm sure is not cheap, I'm going to try my hand at making these. Now, what I got to make them out of, when, when I took the tread aluminum off of the, uh, the bed that was on the blue truck before I put it on my truck, because I'm not going to put running boards on my truck. Uh, I took them off and they had brackets on them like this right here and they're steel brackets and uh, they're wide enough and strong enough that they can replace these so what I did is I went and took a piece out of it and bent it the right shape so now we can stick that in there just like so and since it's not as wide or as thick as this right here I'm going to put a piece of rubber in behind it and make it just a little tighter but I really don't need to do that because all I got to do is just bend this area right here just a little more to make it go up against this and press up against the flat part here and that'll tighten it up. So we've got this piece made. Now all I gotta do is put that up next to that and take a measurement as to where I need to make this hole. We already know that we're gonna be working with center. So let's get a center made on this and this is inch and a half so three quarters of an inch is what we're going to work with so we're going to make that at three quarters center all right now i'm only going to make the first one and then the rest of them i'll do off camera uh, so now we need to decide where we want that. So to find out where we want that, we're going to take our square and put it on here. And we're going to put it in the center of this hole right here that's already broke out. And then we're going to make our mark. So. Right there is where we want centered. All right, that's our first hole. This one's going to be a little more tricky because it's still there, and none of them broke out on the top. So we have to just eyeball it, I reckon. Unless, hold on, I might be able to get an exact measurement. Take that out and measure from center to center. So we got six inches. So six inches is where we're going to put that. All right. Thank you. 
Alright, so now we know where our holes are going to go. Now we're not going to drill those until we find out what we're going to use. So the next thing I need to do is figure out what I'm going to make this out of. Alright, so we already know that we need them to be two and three eighths inches long. And then whatever we're going to use is going to be And I'm going to adjust it to, to the size I want. Alright, so let's see. Alright, what's the next size down from that? So, we're going to make it 5 eighths. So I need to find some five eighths rod. Now I don't know if I want to use steel, um, and I'm almost certain I don't want to use steel. But this is you know, that's three quarters. So good. Didn't want to use it. So as soon as I find something round that we're going to use, we'll resume. Well guys, I need eight of them, so it looks like we're going to have to use steel. So I'm going to have to chuck these up in the lathe and make six of these towers and this way I can weld to this bracket and uh, I'll just make these we're going to have to make these right here. I'm going to have to turn them down on the lathe. So I'm going to measure out what I need. And I may have to make them individually. One at a time. I was thinking about putting it in and do a center point and then use my uh, uh, live center and turn down enough to do three or four of them and then we got to taper them so we're going to decide how I want to do that I think I'd rather take and turn this whole thing down to five eighths once I get it to five eighths then I'll taper each one of them cut them off and then do the next one, cut it off, do the next one, cut it off. Um, that seems to be about the best way to do this. So I guess we'll meet you at the lake. Alright guys. Now, let's get this over out of the way. And let's do our center point. Now, we'll bring this out.
Alright, now let's move you back. Well, we can move you back up here a little bit. Alright. Now we're going to turn this down to 5 eighths because it's 3 quarters. So I've got what, an eighth takeoff. Now that we've got it turned down to 5 eighths, we're going to let it cool down a little bit. And uh, yeah, I have to keep putting this clamp on this thing. For some reason, this damn thing, when this handle gets over on this side, it weighs it down and wants to turn it. So it reverses my damn blade for some reason. So I just clamp the daggone thing. I'm not real sure how to tighten that up. I don't know if you can tighten this nut up and tighten it or not, but I didn't want to mess with it while I was cutting, so I'll deal with that later. Uh, we're going to let it cool down a little bit, and then I'm going to turn it around and turn this side here down to the same size as this so we can get as many out of this as we can. Um, so I was figuring up my angle and it looks like it's going to be five degrees uh, so i'm going to have to set my compound to uh, five degrees when i go to do my tapers uh, i'm not sure how critical that taper is um, i'm going to find out if i even need it i may not even need it depends on how big the hole is going into the, uh, the tailgate if it's bigger than five eighths, I'm not going to do a taper, and I'll just thread each end of it, and then that way we can just take this, set it on there, put a screw in the end of this. It would have to be a shallow screw because 
we don't want this hitting against the face of that and causing it to have a, um, a dent from the inside out. So we may have to drill this, countersink it, and use a uh, countersunk screw, which is what I'm going to do probably. So um, as soon as this cools down, we'll get back on it. Alright guys, I went and measured the hole in my tailgate. I do not have to worry about uh, tapering these. Um, they must have tapered it just so that they didn't have to uh, uh, use any more material than they needed to or should have. Uh, so we're not going to taper these. We're just going to cut these down to size, six of them, in the bandsaw. And um, make a six out of this. So we'll get to the bandsaw, and I'll cut these. And we'll once we cut them, we'll come back to uh, the bench. All right. So now we need to. We got them all to size, and. Now we're going to take and center drill both sides and we're just going to probably just do a little bit of a taper just so that it lines itself up correct. Probably just a chamfer maybe and uh, that should, it should be enough and we're going to tap this out or drill it, tap it for a quarter twenty and we're going to use these screws and I've got the other pieces setting in the drill ready to drill them out and we'll taper them so that they or countersink them so that these will go in for one side but then we'll do another size for the other side uh, that actually holds this to the tailgate so uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to use for that yet um, it's probably going to be quarter 20, but it's not going to be a countersink. It's just going to be a regular 7 16. So we'll probably drill both sides out, tap them quarter 20, and go from there. But for now, let's go ahead and start getting these chamfered and drilled out. Alright guys, we've got these made, 
and they look just like the other ones. Let's get one that's all right. It's got all the pieces to it. Looks just like the other ones. They slide in just like that, or tighter than the other ones. So you just basically slide in the back side of that, and then you just slide it over. And there's a little dipple here that makes it tighter. That you have to hit it to knock it in there. And then when you want to adjust it for the side to side, you just move that one way or the other. And uh, I think these will be a whole lot better than these old plastic ones that seem to break. And they're threaded quarter 20. And ain't none of these three any good because you can't get that screw out. So, uh, there you have it, how to fix the uh, beauty plate for your tailgate on the Fords uh, to make new mounting brackets. And each year will just slide right into the holes on the tailgate. You put your quarter 20 on the inside of the tailgate on the bedside. And uh, that'll work. The only thing I gotta do is put a little bit of paint on them and uh, be done with it. So, I hope that worked for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed that little information. Uh, now I get to put it on tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I wanted to show my... Uh, I showed it in the last video, but because I missed all that video, I missed from the beginning when I was painting my truck, because I showed this before, and uh, I missed from the beginning all the way up to where I was masking it. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. But anyway, my buddy gave me this tray, and that was a score, and it's all welded together, it's stainless steel and little compartments to put screws in and that that thing's handy dandy for working out there on the truck put the screws in it and uh keep them separated or tools or whatever uh, i was just using it like that put tools in and uh that'll work you know stuff like that right there I just thought that was pretty cool, so I showed it to you. So, uh, tomorrow we get to put this on. Uh, I have painted it. and probably already scratched it up. And I gotta take the masking tape off of it, and I don't wait till my hands are clean. But, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think. I know everybody liked the way the truck looked with the uh, redneck spray bomb fricking paint job. But uh, I painted my other black truck that same way and I liked it so much. And it's actually surprisingly durable. Uh, it's more durable than you think it is. Uh, I took that through the woods. Uh, I went mud bogging with it. And uh, hitting limbs or, uh, you know, not heavy limbs, but just scratch, you know, scratching down the side. And basically all it did was just leave a little mark down the side of it. And then when I washed it, that mark disappeared. So this flat black is more durable than you think it is. And, uh, but the good part about it is, if I do need to touch it up, just go grab my can of spray paint, go out there, and it's done. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.